Hi everybody, happy Sunday evening. Um, this is my first video as a transcriber, so I want to thank everybody for letting me join the group. I'm really excited to be a part of it. I will be posting on Sunday evenings. Um, so part of my video is going to be an intro, and then I will talk about this week's topic about testosterone. It's actually very timely for me. Um, as far as about me, my name is Carter, and I am 27. I live in Opelika, Alabama, which is near Auburn, if anybody follows um, SEC football, War Eagle. Actually, Opelika kind of is Auburn. But anyway, um, I live with my boyfriend, Todd. Uh, we have been together about five years, on and off. For the first two, um, we've been together pretty solidly the last three. Um, we live together in a house we bought with our beautiful dog, who is our child at this point, Ellie. She is in this picture behind me. A good friend of ours mother did that. And it's a pretty much a spitting image. Um, currently, as far as what I do, I'm an office administrator, I guess. I don't even know if I really have a title. <laughs> I just recently took a part-time job with a local contracting company because I was laid off at the end of February. Um, at the job I'd been for for about four years. It was my first job out of college. It was all I knew, and it was completely devastating in some aspects. But at the same time, it's um, I look at it as a great lease on life as far as being given a new opportunity. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of looking for my next path. It's not going to be working with this general contracting company. Um, ultimately, I think I want to do nonprofit work. It's kind of hard to get into. I may have decided I may end up in social work. Um... So, I don't know. I have an HR interview, because that's what I did for four years, was HR staffing for Kelly Services. And I have an HR interview on Tuesday, but I don't know that I want the job, so... But I'm going. So, anyway, um, my boyfriend is in school here. He's doing engineering. Um, and, like I said, we've been together about five years, and we're looking forward to many more. This week's topic is about testosterone, and as I did mention, and that is kind of a timely topic, because... My boyfriend actually just came out to me about three or four months ago as trans. It was something that um, I actually helped him come to terms with. We knew something was up, and we finally were able to put a name to it, and it's been really great ever since. Um, we've also been really fortunate in the fact that, as I mentioned, he did just come out a few months ago, but he started T three weeks ago. So he took his third shot yesterday, Um and he, as I just said, is actually doing the testosterone injections. He takes 100 milligrams every week, babe? Yeah. Um, we did do a lot of research uh, when looking into how this was all going to come about. And YouTube, of course, played a huge part in that, which is why I'm so eager to give back, which is, you know, one of the reasons I'm extremely excited about being on this channel, as well as, you know, the community and the friendship. Um... I'm so sorry, where was I? <laughs> okay, so testosterone. We did a lot of research, um, and we did find out about... I'm sorry, anyway. We found out about the other hormone therapy options. Um, we looked into the patch. Um, I think at one point there was a pill, but that caused a lot of liver damage, so that's not even an option anymore. We also looked into the gel. We actually even met a trans guy in our same very small town, which was awesome. Um, and he has a whole bunch of gel that he got from someone that he isn't taking, and believe you me, that is willpower. Um, so we've done a lot of looking into that, um, but like I said, we ultimately ended up doing the injections. We use Stroheger's Pharmacy. I don't know if any of you know about it, but again, we're in a small southern town, so we weren't as comfortable going to a local pharmacy for something like this, considering that endocrinologists in this area pretty much don't treat trans individuals. Um, we were referred to the Feminist Women's Health Center in Atlanta, and that's where we went for the doctor's appointment, and that's where we've gotten the prescription from, and, you know, that's who we will continue to seek treatment through for him. And they were wonderful. The, the coordinator there, Jack, is a trans guy, so they can really relate. All of the staff was extremely courteous, professional, understanding, sensitive to the issues, and all those things that you could ask for. Um, so anyone in the southeast, you know, kind of having trouble if you can't find it locally, I do know that in Atlanta they have that place. As well as another doctor, Dr. Richard Hudson, 
um, in Atlanta. We were given his name by a trans professor that we actually met in the engineering department here at the university as well, who has been a nice resource for us personally. Um, so as far as that, that, that's all I really know about is the hormone treatment. We, <clears throat> we looked into the gel, but I think, and we may ultimately end up, we, I'm not using it, he may ultimately end up using some of the gel because we've done a lot of reading where it said that really helps with the growth of, of those private special places um, as far as just massaging it in that one area. Um, we actually know um, his ex from way back just said that she could send us some gel because her female partner was given a small dosage of it for low libido. Um, but that she quit because it naturally gave her side effects like um, chin hair and stuff. So anyway, but we are doing the the injections. You know, I think down the road, we you know the research has said that you don't have to do the injections for the rest of your life. That's where things like patches will come into play. You know, once the first two years have really gotten underway and you're well, pretty much through through and in your transition. Um, do you have to have testosterone to be a trans, you know, or to be a man uh, or a trans man? And absolutely, I don't think so because it all starts without the testosterone in the first place. Their identity is based um, within their head, and, and, and that's where it all starts. They are male, and they know it regardless of whether they were born in a female body or have testosterone to begin with. Um, so, sure, you can be a trans male without any of this um, treatment, so to speak. However, you know, I know from his point of view, and if I were in the same situation, I certainly would seek that out, because it's just a great way to match. Come here. Sorry, my dog asked for permission. Come on. Come up. Come on. That's Ellie. Um, sorry, I had to <laughs> look up the questions. There really, surprisingly, weren't any hoops that we felt like we had to jump through for Todd to get on testosterone. I think a large part of that was that he had already been seeing a psychiatrist and a psychiatrist um, in a practice for a long time. So they felt like once this conclusion was reached, they had already, you know, had that startup therapy. So they were very much willing to do whatever we needed. And in fact, the clinic we went to didn't even ultimately ask for a letter. Um, we had one if we needed it, but they didn't ask for it. <clears throat> so, we again, we were really lucky that when he came out, we were able to get this ball rolling extremely quickly. Um, as far as how I feel about the hormone therapy in general, I think it's great. I think it is wonderful that there is something out there that can really help people's body match their minds, you know, they, so that you just don't feel so bad about yourself as an individual. I just think there's nothing worse than hating yourself, and, and if this is what helps people um, not hate themselves, then let's do it, you know, and I'm certainly very supportive of it as far as my boyfriend is concerned. I want him to do it. He wants to do it, um, so we're doing it. Uh, the changes so far, like I said, he's really only been on it a couple of weeks, but surprisingly, we have noticed some almost dramatic changes. Um, his ass shrank <laughs> dramatically, which made him happy, um, except for the fact that he thinks it's moving to his stomach. Um, but his butt did shrink. His hair has started to grow. His voice has already deepened slightly. You know, I'm not saying that he's very white yet or anything, but we have been able to notice those changes, which is nice. You know, it's kind of that instant gratification. You know, it's like when you're trying to lose weight, you want to see it all at first, and when you're not, you're discouraged. So this has helped us from not being discouraged. This has really helped um, bring some positivity back into his personality and his confidence. Um, as far as what I may not like, um, he may not attribute it to it, but I've had a couple little headbutts with him. Um, I'm not saying he's like raging angry all the time or anything, and it could just be that he's feeling more like himself and like scrapping with me. Um, but he's definitely snapped at me a couple of times. Um, but nothing big, you know, we kind of do that anyway. Uh, we do anticipate all the changes positively, to be completely honest. Well, uh, other than the acne, which he has noticed that his face is a lot oilier now that he has to wash it throughout the day. Um, he's really worried about getting the acne, so maybe that's the only change we don't anticipate positively. Um, 
And again, like I mentioned, in our area, we don't have a whole bunch of medical professionals that deal with this. So, this mirror effect's crazy. <clears throat> so, we did go to Atlanta. So, I don't know anybody in Alabama. I think we found another trans guy who might have found an endocrinologist in Montgomery that he was seeing. But we are about an hour and a half from Atlanta and an hour from Montgomery. So, we, again, are traveling to Atlanta to the Feminist Women's health clinic and they provide a variety of services to people and again we're very thankful for that um i guess that's it yay for testosterone yay! <laughs> todd's chiming in now <laughs> um but i think it's great and again i'm i'm very thankful to be a part of this channel and i appreciate all of you watching and i hope you tune in next sunday evening um for sunday's part 2 with carter y'all have a great night and a great week bye